The morning sunlight was just beginning to spread over the tops of the forest trees when Lionstar called together the morning patrol. Although Lionstar had arrived back from the herb collecting journey the night before, the Moss Clan leader had already dragged himself from his bed of moss and stood firmly before the gathered cats, his orange fur catching on the early hints of sunlight and nothing in his posture giving away the exhaustion he must be feeling. Oakpaw was more than slightly grateful for this display of strength. He had been almost dizzy with worry when his parents had stumbled back into camp, Mossleaf dragging her paws and staggering so hard that Oakpaw had to step forward and help his father carry her through the forest to the medicine cat den. They should have let me go, Oakpaw thought, lashing his tail in frustration. I may not be able to actually talk to plants, but I have two eyes. I could have helped to gather those herbs and flowers without Mossleaf putting herself at risk. Oakpaw's heart twisted again as he thought of his mother, who had looked so terrifyingly tiny in the medicine cat den, curled up in her bed of moss. When had she gotten so much smaller than he was? Just a few moons ago, he had been curled up by her side in the nursery, and now he was suddenly looming over her, his muscles growing from endless training with briar stalk and his fur fluffing out in thick waves. It wasn't as though he was a kitten any longer. He may still be an apprentice, but he was as big as any of the warriors and had been training non-stop. He could have gone! He could have been the one to take the risk and help the clan! Oakpaw's angry thoughts were cut off as Lionstar let out a yowl as Squirrelleep, the last of the cats of the morning patrol, trotted into view. Tomy, blinking a thick haze of sleep from his eyes, trotted in behind her, the new visiting cat's expression curious. No doubt Lionstar would have to address what to do with the lost kitty pet, who so far didn't seem to be that upset that he was lost, but there were more pressing matters at hand. Cats of Moss Clan. Lionstar dipped his head, nodding towards Honeywish, Briarstalk, Oakpaw, Squirrelleap, and Crowfeather. Usually, the black and white cat didn't join in the morning patrol. He took the afternoon to paw at the ponds by camp instead, but today he had made an exception, despite being as exhausted as the rest of the cats who had returned from the journey. I appreciate you all being quick to gather. We will have a proper meeting to discuss the herbs we have collected and the events of the journey, among other things. Lionstar glanced Tomy's way and seemed to stop himself from sighing before moving on. But it will have to wait. I'm afraid Mossleaf is very sick, and Dogaze has asked for our help during the morning hunting today. I know it is an extra burden, but we need to find additional food for Mossleaf to eat so she can recover from the illness she picked up during the journey. Dogaze has asked us to gather what rodents we can, the fatter, the better, and bring them straight to Mossleaf so she can regain her strength. Redkit and Robinkit are also in need of their mother being at full health so they can properly feed as well. We can split patrols by the grove near the forest spirit's glade. Honeywish meowed, her voice firm, and her gaze relieved as she glanced at Lionstar. For the last two days, the honey-colored cat had been the one to organize patrols and lead the clan, but she had stepped aside almost with relief, and Oakpaw could have sworn he heard her mutter something along the lines of about time as soon as Lionstar had gotten back into camp and had a chance to catch his breath. There are more new leaf seeds gathered around on the ground over there, and I've seen chipmunks distracted while trying to feed on them. Lionstar nodded, then the Moss Clan cats jumped as Tomy spoke up. That sounds fun! So you're gathering up chipmunks? Those are the ones with the stripes, aren't they? Perhaps I could try. The white and orange dappled tom cat lifted his head, his small tail wiggling in excitement as he thought about the prospect. Uh, Lionstar hesitated. Do you know how to hunt, Tomy? His voice was polite, but echoed the disbelief all the Moss Clan cats held at the idea of the kitty pet having any hunting skills. Well, sure. In theory, at least, Tomy meowed, his voice full of his casual friendliness. Honeywish snorted, and Lionstar sighed, then glanced at Squirrelleap. Squirrelleap stared back at her leader obliviously for a moment before she suddenly let out a startled, Oh! and stood up, stretching beside Tomy. Tell you what, Tomy, Squirrelleap meowed, nudging the dappled cat. Why don't you join me over by our big oak and watch me hunt for a bit? If you want, I can even show you some moves after we finish finding something for the morning prey pile. Squirrelleap walked away from the gathered group with Tomy by her side, and the other cats let out soft sighs of relief then began to break off into their own hunting pairs and stalked off into the forest. Oakpaw waved his tail towards Briarstalk, asking for a moment, then trotted over to Lionstar. Lionstar, Oakpaw meowed, a sudden rush of emotion almost making it impossible for him to speak. Lionstar turned to face his son, 
his gaze calm and loving, as always when he stared into Oakpaw's mask of green. Oakpaw had never seen his father look so tired, or the storm of worry that was lurking in the back of his eyes. For a moment, Oakpaw could almost hear the fear, the worry, and the guilt that was in his father's mind, rumbling like thunder in his ears, a storm that brushed a hot, angry breeze across his face. He blinked, and the odd sensation was gone, replaced only with Lionstar's patient gaze. I... oh. Oakpaw sighed and lifted his head proudly, trying to fight back the nervousness he felt. Lionstar, did you find... when you were on your journey with Mossleaf and Dogaze, did you find anything to help Lizardpaw? Oakpaw swallowed, his face schooled to calmness, but the nervous twitching of his tail gave away just how eager he was for an answer and his heart plummeted as Lionstar sighed and lowered his head. Oakpaw, I'm sorry. I know. You know. We all wish there was something we could do to help Lizardpaw. But this is something that goes deeper than what herbs can heal. Lionstar pressed his muzzle gently to his son's side. Oakpaw was surprised to find a sudden flare of anger spark up that almost made him shove his father away. He pressed it down and lowered his head, his heart sinking. Lizardpaw had finally started eating a tiny bit ever since he had met with the forest spirit, but soon it was though meeting with her was all he ever did. He hardly even came to the nursery to see Redkit and Robinkit anymore, let alone try to spend time with the other cats of the clan to share tongues or listen to Silverfang's stories. At this rate, with Mossleaf sick and Lizardpaw thin from lack of eating, how would his brother ever train as a warrior? How would they ever grow into strong cats who could take care of the clan together, as a warrior and spirit cat? if Lizardpaw could hardly lift his head from every blade of grass they passed. Oakpaw dipped his head in respect to his father and leader, and turned, dashing into the bushes after Briarstock, frustration and fear gnawing at his heart. While he was training to become a powerful warrior who could help Moss Clan, Lizardpaw was practically wasting away. He couldn't let things go on like this much longer. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 3 The Warrior Cats Challenge and we are back here with Moss Clan for another special day and don't worry you guys we are going to be moving on to some pretty big journeys coming up soon as you guys have seen little hints and pieces of and there's going to be some more exciting hints coming up but I wanted to take just a moment to thank all of you for your amazing kindness and support and patience I know we haven't had as many Warrior Cats episodes out as lately um, as usual lately and that's totally because I'm still sort of recovering from so many sudden deaths in the family. And so there's going to be a little bit of a hiccup just for a little bit while longer as I kind of adjust to the grief and adjust to the mourning and adjust to the way my energy seems to come and then absolutely vanish and I sleep all day or I get up and I'm super excited and I want to tell more stories with you guys. And I'm just writing that out. So just that little aside there so you guys know why warriors may kind of be hiccuping a little bit or where some of the bonus episodes will be that's what's going on behind the scenes and what's going on here within the scene is that our wonderful lion star is actually keeping a good eye on his his mate mostly who is covered in fleas and appears to be snoozing the day away here in the moss bed and moss leaf actually has a illness right now so she did get a critical illness it was really dramatic just as they managed to get back from their herb collecting journey they got moss leaf with like a completely red portrait and she got critical exhaustion so basically she's completely exhausted and she has to rest in this moss bed and be taken care of by the other clan cats kind of make sure that her socials up her fun all of her needs other than like being able to scratch on something are basically going to have to be met by the cats of the clan sort of stepping up and helping her out because she's too weak and too exhausted to do anything and including to see her kits and all she really wanted when she came back was to be able to see her kits and for crying out loud robin kit don't hold it in that long just pee pee anywhere before you get sick as well and red kit 
<laughs> you two are too tiny. Are they both neat kits? I wonder if that's what's going on. No, they're just lazy and independent. And it doesn't matter. Just pee anywhere before you guys end up like having your needs go into the, the yellow or the red because you guys are, are holding it in too long. But yes, yeah, so she's not able to take care of her kits, even though that's something she really desperately wanted to do when she came back. She just wants to snuggle them. She wants to spend time with them. But she has to stay confined, more or less, except for scratching things, uh, in the medicine cat den until she is recovered. And how is she going to recover? Well, our wonderful Dogaze actually gets to spend the day after she wakes up, because she's also exhausted from the journey. She gets to spend the day going ahead and sorting through all of the herbs and all of the seeds and flowers that they collected on the journey and see if there's anything useful she can give to Moss Sleep. Things that cure exhaustion include really useful things like lavender and chamomile, but also rodents. So the morning hunting patrol kind of needs to be put together. Oh my goodness! Honeywish, I'm so proud of you, and Honeywish is already on top of it. So the morning hunting patrol is mostly going to compose of Honeywish and Briar Stock, who needs to wake himself up and get moving and grooving so he can start helping out. Oakpaw is going to be training with Briar Stock as usual. I think he can go ahead and kind of get... Oh, wow, he's stinky. Apparently he needs to take care of himself. He's probably, like, really worried about things. Here, you want to try fishing for a second, Oakpaw? Maybe you'll be able to do that. I bet he's really worried about how his brother and his mother and everybody else is doing. But yeah, Oakpaw is going to be helping out. Lizardpaw, not so much. He's kind of in that stage where he's sort of being ignored still by everybody. He might go and hang out with Robin Kit because Robin Kit really loves her lizard kit or her lizard paw, excuse me. They're very close together. Um, and Lizardpaw is kind of caught up. He has a special modifier on him right now where pretty much everything he is going to be doing is interacting with Willow. I might let him do one or two little things kind of on his way to see Willow, but the vast majority of his day must be spent interacting with Willow in some form or fashion. That's kind of a special little modifier that he's got on him right now. And what I might start doing, and let me know if you guys think this is a useful idea. All right, Willow, speaking of which, you need to wake up and take care of your plants. Oh my goodness. <laughs> take care of these plants. They're so, they're just in critical need. But what I might start doing is I might start doing uh, like episode help summaries where before I post an episode, I will actually make a uh, like Google document reference sheet so you guys can pull it up and you can reference like the episode start notes it won't have any spoilers in it it'll just kind of catch you up on like what cats have what modifiers what they need to cure it and things like that and i think that could kind of be like an, a really fun little cheat sheet so let me know if you think that would be useful because then you would know hey moss leaf has exhaustion and i wouldn't have to spend five minutes explaining that to you and then you would know what's needed to cure exhaustion and we could just kind of jump into things a lot faster all right but that all being said tommy actually actually is going to be spending some time with Squirrely today. What is that? <laughs> Yowl along? What do you do when you hear something so gut-wrenchingly bad that it causes the hairs on your back to wind straight up? You yowl along in candid fashion. Your cat wants to yowl along. <gasps> I think that Tommy, because he's noisy, he's a noisy cat, I think he wishes that there was somebody playing an instrument so he can make a lot of noise. But basically, Squirrelip, who is currently working on catching a bug, is going to show off some of her hunting skills to Tommy, and then they're going to maybe even train together. So I'm going to send him over over here. In fact, send him to pee here, perhaps. And then, oh, yay, Honeywish! Honeywish caught a ladybug, and she actually was getting ready to pounce on Tommy. But yeah, we're gonna let Dogaze rest for a little while, and Honeywish, who just caught a little ladybug, so that'll be a good snack at least. Oh, Honeywish, look! It's a lizard! Go ahead and catch it! Catch the lizard! It's a gecko just, just sitting there. Now, a gecko isn't one of the items that we actually need uh, for Moss Leaf to heal, but we still need to feed the entire clan, including the hungry little kits. Oh, go scratch something. Robin Kit, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to have you mess with like a lizard kit in the, or a lizard paw in a little bit. So you go ahead and go scratch something. And then Honeywish is going to catch this gecko. And hopefully I can get, let's see, where is, oh, oh, and then Oak Paw, that's right. He just caught this three-eyed fish. So that renovation that we did of these ponds apparently went really well you guys so you know we did a behind the scenes episode where we went in with the cats and we kind of added all of these adorable dandelions everywhere if things weren't so critically busy with trying to get rid of the fleas and trying to take care of our cats and trying to get ready for maybe oak paw to have a couple wandering paws we'll have to see what's going to happen with that but if we weren't preparing for that i would try to spend more time with robin kit and red kit being able to collect things like dandelions and other items like that all sorts of really 
really cool little ways of decorating the camps and adding personality to the cats that we could be doing. In fact, I wonder if Robin Kit can collect a bunch of feathers. She loves feathers from the other cats, so we'll have to see. But all right, so Oakpaw has managed to get a, a fish, so I'm really surprised. Oh, now he wants to eat the fish. He's very proud of himself. I think he shocked himself at getting a three-eyed fish, and he doesn't know what to think about that. Unless he sniffed Homie, sniff Lizard Paw. Is Lizard Paw nearby? Is he doing anything? Lizard Paw, come over here. Come over here and congratulate your brother. Go ahead. Go sniff, sniff. Sniff your brother and then let him sniff you. And then maybe they can have just a moment to kind of socialize for a second. So he can kind of catch his brother on his way over. But I do need to cure the cats of their fleas. But Dogaze is going to have to wake up for that. Dogaze! Medicine cat! <laughs> Hurry, Dogaze! Wake up! I might even have her eat some, like, buzzberry. We can make it so buzzberry kind of restore energy, like, at least halfway there every time a cat eats them. So, in fact, we'll have to see if we have some buzzberry. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get Briarstalk uh, kind of lined up. He's kind of getting ready for the morning, too. Does he have anything? What? No! Silverfang, now is not the time. Now is not the time to distract everybody. We're trying to get, like, cats fed. All right, anything? And then we've got a common squirrel. We could fork that over to moss leaf, and that would be very, very helpful. We've got some ladybugs to eat. Um, a trilobite beetle, which is rare. Spotted beetle, which is rare. Colorful feather. I wonder if we can give that to Robin Kit. I think that would be adorable if we could give that to Robin Kit. All right, but let's go ahead and get organized. So Briarstock, Briarstock, don't you let, don't you let that little cat tell you what to do. You go ahead and you, you pee and then you can come over and scratch and then we'll take care of like all of the food you need. All right, so Briarstock needs to be tended to a little bit before he can start doing the hunting with Oak Paw. And Silverfang, I think, is being a little bit of a bored old man. So where are the kits? Where's a... All right. All right. Guess what? Guess what? Oh, little red kit. Red kit and Squirrelly. We're going to nuzzle each other. That's so sweet. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and let that happen. I'm going to go ahead and let that happen. And Squirrelly but just caught a beetle. Oop. And Tommy is startled by things. I think he's thinking that the morning's activities are a little bit more exciting than he anticipated. Don't deny the kit from nuzzling Squirrelly. Don't be rude. I think she's just not used to kits. So, all right, there she goes. But she's going to go ahead. Friendly, sniff. And then, oh, yeah, she wanted to sniff somebody. Oh, and she wants to sniff Moss Leaf, possibly check in on her. There you go, Silver Fang. You can go ahead and you can socialize and nuzzle and play. And kind of keep an eye on Nuzzle. Nuzzle, sniff, sniff, sniff. Because that's what all my cats seem to want to do with each other. I, I guess he doesn't want Nuzzled because Red Kit wants to be considered a tough warrior. So we'll try grooming him. There we go. So Squirrelly is going to go ahead. And yeah, these guys don't really have any wants with one another. But I think that she might be able to teach Tomi a little bit about hunting. So we're going to go ahead and let them practice their, their pouncing together by being pounced on and then the pouncy. Because Squirrelly did promise after she caught something for the prey pile that she would kind of encourage Tomi and teach him a little bit about what it means to be a warrior cat. So let's go ahead and put this little beetle down. There we go. Honeywish, what are you doing? Oh, Honeywish, you're sniffing the baby all by yourself. I'm so proud of you. That's so cute. That's so cute. Are you warming up to Kit's Honeywish? That's adorable. I kind of, we need to capture this moment. She's normally much more like distracted about things. Or maybe it's just that Robin Kit, I'm not sure if it's Honeywish warming up to the idea of kits and, and their rambunctiousness, or if it's her going like, oh, I love, I love the, what I can see of Lion Star in her. Or I would actually put money down, or if I had to, like whatever fish I had to like barter with in the prey pile, down on the fact that just Robin Kit is adorable and sweet and she's very, very easy to love. All right, so Honeywish is going to take care of that. And then what else does she need to do? A lot of hunting. She wants to playfully pounce on Dogaze. So you know what? Let's wake Dogaze up. Because Dogaze needs to kind of get started on curing all of the issues that the cats have. She needs to give Mossleaf a couple of the healing items that we have. And she needs to start digging through all of the herbs that we've collected. So we're going to go ahead and wake her up. And then we're going to go ahead and go over to Willow, who's busy watering everything. 
and we're going to open up this chest and so this is the medicine den chest that dogies keeps all of her supplies in she has a lot of feathers she has a few plasma bugs which is amazing a few assassin beetles rainbow beetles which is extremely useful when it comes to taking care of kits she's also got snake skins a truffle um she managed to get some of these spiders a red toadstool sea batfish jellyfish and a honeypot ant and let's see what did we collect while we were out and about with with willow so we managed to get an okra seed this polar that they really have no idea what to do with so i think they're just going to like stick it can we stick it oh my gosh <laughs> The nanite thing looks so weird when it is not like when it when it's out. Okay, it's gonna just stay inside of the chest. It doesn't look like the little nanite rolling around. I've never played with them before, so that's why I'm kind of surprised. All right, there's lots of seeds that they collected. Green leaf. So she gathered up a lot of green leaf, which is wonderful. Green leaf can be used to cure the coughs that can really be quite um they can kill a lot of cats, so that's really good. Chamomile. So we want to get one chamomile. Um, and we'll kind of put that on the ground for a moss leaf. So one chamomile for moss leaf. In fact, we can leave it like a little pile around her. <gasps> I love that idea. We can just leave it. Oh, we could even maybe decorate with some herbs just scattered around. That would be so much fun. All right. So green leaf is down and then we've got sweet grass and then we have a bunch of lavender and we have enough lavender. See, lavender is one of the things that you can use to also help with a cat who's completely exhausted. And I'm going to say we're going to put down another chamomile, even though that uses up a lot of chamomile. Chamomile, realistically, is more for like that exhaustion and digestive issues, whereas lavender is really for like relaxing and calming down. And I think moss leaf would be calmed down, so she needs more chamomile than lavender. But we also gathered up sweet grass, which is good. There we go. I got all the sweet grass and peppermint. I could have sworn we had buzzberry gosh darn if we don't have buzzberry then i can't dang it all right well dogaze is just gonna have to have cat napped no pun intended and let's see red hibiscus seeds spotlight mushrooms there's spotlight mushrooms and then we've got a whole bunch of these mushrooms and dogaze did take that omen to plant mushrooms very seriously as well mandrake root i'm not sure what we could use mandrake root for just yet so if you guys have some ideas on what you could use mandrake root for and ideas for illnesses then do let me know in the comments we're slowly but surely starting to add to and edit the document so i'll probably start linking the document or like the index page i'm going to make an index page for all of the information that will have it like the random generators and they'll have the illnesses and i'm really going to be overhauling that as time goes on like i keep saying by the time we hit season two we're probably going to be in full stride and it's going to be amazing all right so let's see what else we've managed to collect we gathered up a few other things like a tomato seed i guess the things the cats have like collected i want to specifically try to keep in here we did find that hibiscus seed yellow hibiscus seed okra seed that i have no idea what we would do with and we found two plants so two flowers in fact we can keep these flowers in here and use them as needed when we need willow to do something but fully we only have two I could have sworn we collected more flowers than that. And they're only worth like one use of her bloom each. So it's not like we can have her do a bunch of super blooms. But what we can have her do... Oh, wait. No, we did collect all of these. See, I knew we had a whole bunch of them. <laughs> I was like, there's no way we only collected that many. So there we go. We've got a whole bunch of wildflowers that we can actually trade to Willow in exchange for collecting items like the herbs or in exchange for being able to bloom things. And we got a whole bunch of seeds we can use. And this is a spring onion seed, a blackberry seed, red hibiscus seed, a flower seed. This is interesting. I wonder if there might be a clan sometime in the future that might use mostly flowers. And then if it's like a bad quality, I don't know about that. Well, we'll stick it in here and we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with it. And then we'll stick all these unknown seeds in here. And then Dogaze can either use these or she can end up... Um, she can either use these or she can end up like tossing them out as time goes on or have those random events where she has to get rid of some of those things. So there we go. All right. So lots and lots of things there. And then I've also been thinking that there might be some items that are used as general health boost, like sharing honey. Honey might be good for any cat who just needs a little bit of a health boost, maybe to reduce the severity of their, their illness because moss leaf is at a severity six, which means she needs six items that can help cure her. Three of those items can be plants and then the other three have to be rodents so that she needs to be able to eat. And they either need to be like one common or three common 
common rodents or one common rodent and one uncommon rodent or a rare rodent. So the rodents will now have verity values. It's basically, I'm getting too complicated, but there's a lot of work that thanks to your guys' suggestions have gone on behind the scenes and we will be working with. So it's going to be really cool to see where the cats go from here. And we have some cocoa seeds. What? What am I going to do with cocoa seeds? All right, well, I'm going to put the cocoa seeds over here for now. But all right, the, the, no buzzberry. That's kind of the point of that whole ramble is that apparently we don't have buzzberry after all. And somebody is trying to go back to sleep. But I'm going to send Dogaze over because she's going to come over here and we're going to use some of, yeah, oranges. Sweet. We're going to use some of the flowers that they collected to collect oranges. So we're going to send her right on over. And then Willow is going to collect the oranges off of the orange trees. And oranges as a citrus item can actually be used to help cure the flea issue that we have. Um, what? Uh, do you guys want to see why I got dark all of a sudden? I'm wondering why it got dark all of a sudden, too. Uh, okay, doogies? Doogies? Are you getting a message from Star Clan? Um, doogies? Dark all of a sudden? Is something happening? Are the stars literally falling from the sky again? I kind of have some plots. I kind of, okay, all right. Um, I kind of, there's some plots in mind. I've been working really hard on them, game. Um, in the background. Are you, are you about to, are you, okay, what's going on here? Dogaze is just looking up. Okay. All right. Dogaze. Oh, oh, what? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How is this? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. You're just. What? I have never had this happen before. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, what? Dogaze. Dogaze. Dogaze! Dogaze! Where is it going, Dogaze? What? There's a meteor hitting, hitting the clan campsite! I can't even... I can't... Why? Don't tell me it's going straight for the medicine cat den! I can't even handle this! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, good... Good golly pieces! Oh my gosh, a meteor, a meteor just hit the nursery and the medicine cat tin. I don't even, I can't even. Okay, 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 um, you guys. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a little bit of time. If you could all be so polite as to pardon me while I frantically, frantically rearrange my notes that I had so carefully planned on so many things that so many people so desperately wanted to see. And I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna need to rewrite everything now because this has just changed everything and and now there's a fire on the home are you kidding me are, is there more okay all right all right this is happening this is happening you guys this you guys you guys you guys is Star Clan angry? Tommy? I I don't even Okay. I Oh my gosh. Well guys. 
Um, every... Every... Oh. My gosh. The medicine kitchen! <laughs> Must leave! Um... Um... I don't think I can... Can I... Uh, okay. Um... Alright, guys. Well... I'll be back with you guys next time. And we'll have to see what on earth we're going to be doing about all of this. So, um, the stars just fell from the sky again. And Moss Clan's territory just got completely blown up. And I have no idea how we're going to deal with this. And that was the beautiful, terrifying sound of all of my plots being thrown straight out the window. So I need to reassess what to do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye